For our buffalo, we'll be using four balloons. I've got a black 160, and I've only inflated about 8 to 12 inches of that. We won't need all of it. I've got a mocha brown 160, inflated leaving about a 4 inch tail. I also have a mocha 350. I've only inflated about 8 or 10 inches of that as well because we'll only need a small portion of it. And then I've got a mocha brown 260, also with about a 4 inch tail. We're going to start with the 260, begin with our head, make a small half inch bubble, grab the, no the knot, twist it around, make an ear twist, make another small half inch bubble for another ear twist. These will be the lips for the buffalo. Now we're going to make this head, make about an inch and a half bubble. Then we're going to make about a three quarter inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. Another three quarter inch bubble. That will become a pinch twist as well and position them on opposite sides of each other. And now we want to make another bubble the same size as this one here. Bring it back up to the front, twist it in with those first two ear twists. And now we're going to take onto the top of our head, give it sort of a bulge. So you want to make a bubble a little longer than those, probably about it comes out just past the back of these ear twists. And then twist that down into these two ear twists here. So you get that sort of bulging head that the buffalo have. Now we're going to make for his body about a four to four and a half inch bubble. About a three quarter inch bubble. Make that into an ear twist. And then we're going to take that ear twist and split it into two smaller bubbles. Just like that. Now bring our bubble back up along, our balloon up alongside and make another bubble the same size as this one. To complete the first part of his body. Twist that in around a time or two to secure it. Take the excess off. And then secure your loose end. Now we're going to take our 350. We're going to twist the nozzle in up around the back of the head. The buffalo don't have much of a neck, so we don't need to worry about that. And again, you want to really kind of soften this up really good because we want it to be narrower at the back than the front. Work it in, and as you lay it alongside to get back to this ear twist, kind of squeeze the back so it gets a little softer and smaller. And if you work it, you can say, kind of see how it grows up to the front. You get that big hump that the buffalo have behind their head. Twist it around those that back ear twists that we split into two a time or two. Take the excess off. And this one I'll go ahead and tie a knot to secure it. I don't want to wrap it too many times, it'll get too bulky up in there. And then tuck that up inside his body. And if you kind of work that, you can get that hump to build up and make it a little narrower in the back there. Now we're going to take our 160, again twisting it up behind the head. We're going to come down, make about a two inch bubble for a front leg, a little small half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist, another half inch bubble for another pinch twist, these will be his two front feet, and then another bubble to match that one to make his other front leg, come back up and twist that around. And now we're going to take our, two, our 160 here. You lay it up underneath the bottom of his body there to fill that in. Go back to the back ear twist. Twist it in and secure it. Now we'll make two back legs. And I'll usually make them just slightly shorter than the front. Buffalo tend to have smaller back legs than front legs. So make bubble just a little shorter than those front legs. Again, make our two little pinch twists. Half inch bubble, pinch twist, half inch bubble. Pinch twist just like we did for the front feet. Come back into that bubble there, twist it around once or twice. We're going to break this excess off again and secure that up inside. So we have that. Now we're going to take our black 160. 
start by making a horn. So we want to make about an inch and a half bubble. We want to twist that into his head in front of the two ear twist, so behind the main part of the head. Go around the body, secure it. And now we're going to take and make an eye. We want this really, really soft. So squeeze it so that you've got a little bit of air into it. Go up and twist that into those lips in the front. So you've got a really soft bubble. Then if you take and squeeze the size of that bubble, the force the air in the middle, and then tuck the slender parts up in there, you sort of get that eye effect. And then take this one and kind of shape it a little bit. And then we'll repeat the process on the other side only making the eye first. So really soften that up really good. So you get a little small bubble there. Go around the head. Make our other horn. You want to get your horns about the same size. Break off the excess. Keep this. We can let the air out. We'll use that for his tail in a moment. Tie that. Cut off the excess. Give his horn a little bit of curve and then come back and do the same with this eye that you did with the first eye. Did you get the two eyes up in there? And your horns. Now with what you have left, take it Pull a little bubble on the end, just like that. Come up and tie it where you've got about a three or four inch bubble in front of that. And then cut most of this excess off. You just need a little bit to secure in there. Secure that into this back where we split that ear twist. And then you can take and pull that up in there so his tail sort of sticks out. You can have it down however you want. And there's our little buffalo.